OK, in this final section, we're going to be looking at indices. Now, there is the three rules of indices uh, that at this stage it is very important that you know. And that is that if you have a to the m multiplied by a to the n, so where these a numbers are exactly the same, OK, we might refer to them as the base numbers. So we have the same base. The indices, what happens is we have the base number, but the indices get added together. So a to the m times a to the n is a to the m plus n. If you divide, now you can represent a division either by a to the m divided by a to the n, but more common at this level, we use a fraction. And here you have the indices subtracting. So a to the m divided by a to the n is a to the m minus n. If you have a to the m to the power of n, then in this case, the indices multiply together. OK? And I'll show you an example of this in these uh, four. So we're going to start off with 3 to the 8 times 3 to the 5 divided by 3 to the 2. So because you're multiplying with the same base number, the indices get added together. So in the numerator, we have 3 to the 8 times 3 to the 5, which is 3 to the 13. And we're dividing that by 3 squared. So 3 to the 13 divided by 3 squared is 3 to the power of 13 take away 2. So 30, uh, 3 to the 11. For b, we have 5 cubed cubed. So what does that mean? Okay, Just to make cl it clear why this works. So 5 cubed cubed is 5 cubed times 5 cubed times 5 cubed. And so you have 5 to the power of 3 plus 3 plus 3, which is 9, which is exactly the same as 3 times 3. So this is 5 to the 9 divided by 5 to the 7. And so that is 5 to the 9 take away 7, so 2. Now for C, we'll take each bit individually, the numerator and the denominator. 6 to the 2 times 6 to the 15 is 6 to the 17. And 6 to the 11 times 6, well, if you just have a 6 by itself, it's just 6 to the 1. And so in the denominator, we have 6 to the 12. So 6 to the 17 times 6 to the 12 is 6 to the 5. 17 take away 12 is 5. For this last one, x to the minus 3 all to the power of 4, these indices get multiplied together. So we have x to the minus 12. We've got x squared times x to the 5 to the minus 1. So if we deal with this first, I'll just write that x squared there first, x squared times, x to the 5 to the minus 1, the 5 and the minus 1 multiply together. And so we have x to the minus 5. So then, deal with the denominator, leave the numerator alone, x squared times x to the minus 5, 2 plus minus 5 is minus 3. So we have x to the minus 3 in the denominator. So then, we have x to the power of minus 12, take away minus 3. So if you take away minus 3, that's the same as adding 3. So minus 12 plus 3 is minus 9. And so this is equivalent to x to the power of minus 9. And that's how we deal with indices at this stage.